worm. Prepare yourself. Dancing. Today I'm going to be pitting the original Super Saiyan transformation against the Ultra Instinct transformation in this brand new series where I'm going to be putting things versus against each other in the Dragon Ball universe. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys exactly which one I think is the better transformation overall. So I want to go ahead and start out with the beginning of these transformations, which is the trigger. Now, these two are triggered by two completely different things, and I want to go ahead and tell you guys which one I think is better. So we have the Super Saiyan transformation, the original, being triggered by the death of Krillin right in front of Goku. And that sets Goku over the edge, and he transforms into the Super Saiyan. Now, when we go ahead and talk about the Ultra Instinct transformation, that transformation is triggered by the spirit bomb that gets blasted right back at Goku, almost destroying him. So, which one is better? Well, personally, I like the Krillin's death. I think the Krillin death scene is extremely powerful. I think it sets the whole tone and the mood for the transformation, that it comes with a need. It does get played out later on where most transformations come when you, uh, when you have uh, something traumatic happening in front of you, but Again, it is a classic. While the Ultra Instinct transformation, getting hit by your own Spirit Bomb attack, kind of bends the norm uh, from what we expect to see in these transformations. And actually, a lot of that Ultra Instinct transformation bends the norms. But ultimately, it is an attack that Goku is trying to hit somebody that isn't evil, and then it backfires and hits him with it. So I have to go ahead and side with the Super Saiyan transformation on this one. The transformation itself on the Super Saiyan side of things was iconic. It was especially good because we didn't know it was coming. I had no idea and I would say the majority of people who hadn't read the manga or anything like that and just what were watching the, maybe the US broadcast back in the 90s, they had no idea this was coming at all. The Ultra Instinct transformation in contrast comes when we think that Goku is destroyed but Again, it is spoiled for us because we've known for months now that Goku is going to be getting a new transformation. It's been hinted that it's going to be this transformation. So that emotional level, that emotional blow is lessened to a, a huge degree. But the transformation itself is awesome. With Plus, the look on all the gods of destruction's faces is just priceless. So I have to go ahead and give the edge on this one to the Ultra Instinct transformation. And lastly is going to be the fallout of these transformations, what happens immediately after. So immediately after the Super Saiyan transformation, Gohan ends up trying to leave with Piccolo, Frieza tries to blast him out of the sky, and then Goku instantaneously pops right in front of Frieza, grabs his fingers and looks like he's gonna break his hand. In the Ultra Instinct transformation, Goku takes a step and ends up almost teleporting and we see it through his point of view and he's kicking trying to kick Jiren and Jiren dodges it and then they go into their own little fight sequence which one do I think is better well the aspect of Goku grabbing Frieza's hand and Frieza being overwhelmed and it being really the first time that he is overwhelmed on Namek is powerful but we've seen it before with you know Vegeta versus uh, Goku where Goku Vegeta seems to have all the cards and then Goku out of nowhere does a Kaioken and has Vegeta on the ropes. So we've seen this before while we really haven't seen it where you get a transformation that is hyped to a certain, to such a degree and then have that transformation really not make a difference too much. It closed the gap and made Jiren really go on the offensive and, and try his heart, uh, hardest to basically try to hit Goku and so for that I have to give the fallout to the Ultra Instinct Transformation and with that we have the verdict. My verdict, this is only for me, all you guys have your own separate things and I would like to hear how what you guys think in the comments below of which one's better but yes, the Ultra Instinct Transformation is better 
for me anyway, than the Super Saiyan transformation, the original. The Super Saiyan transformation, I hold a special place in my heart. I still get nostalgia, goosebumps all over my body when I see it, especially with the original US broadcast with the music that plays along with it. But the Ultra Instinct transformation is such a good transformation. It bends all the rules that have been established in Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, up to that point. The transformation itself comes when one of Goku's attacks backfire on him, and then it doesn't really even bridge the gap too closely when he's fighting Jiren, or at least that's the way it seems to me during the fight. So the transformation itself, again, I think it's better. I think they one upped it when it came to uh, what to expect. But again, the Super Saiyan transformation is still the iconic one, and I really, really love and enjoy this transformation. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Which one do you guys think is better? Drop me a like if you like my video. This is going to be Dragon Ball Black signing off. Mm -hmm.